Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. What you see here is two pots and I try to get plants that matched as best as I could but uh, unfortunately they're not exactly perfect. The pot on the left uh, does have a little crip rot to it. Some of the leaves have rotted and the plant on the right is a little more healthier. But what I'm doing is an experiment. I'm trying out two things. One of the pots is potted up with miracle Grow potting mix. And I put some stones at the bottom, miracle Grow, then stones on top. The other pot is same way, stones at the bottom, but with kitty litter, saturated with uh, flourish iron, and then stones on top. Right now, I'm not going to tell you if it's a left pot, pot or right pot that has the kitty litter or dirt. But I'll show you how I potted them up, to be fair. Now some may ask, well, why didn't I use open cell baskets? And that's very true that that probably would have been a lot better than using pots. But uh, clay pots have been used in the hobby since the 70s and 80s. So there's nothing new about people putting clay pots in their aquariums with plants. Uh, they may have a bare aquarium and they want some plant life in there so they make up a pot. But let's see a few things. One, do any one of the two pots cause pollution? In other words, will the dirt pot all of a sudden raise the nitrates and phosphate levels. Now I know what the nitrates and phosphates of this aquarium is. Nitrates were like zero and phosphates were almost unreadable. Now I know that for a fact with this aquarium. So it's good to see if we see nitrate levels rise or phosphate level, uh, levels rise. Then we'll know that uh, it's one of the clay pots. Another thing I wanted to see if fluids move in and out of the clay pots, which they do, which at least the one with kitty litter was uh, leaching out some uh, iron. So I know there was movement through the pot. And by the next day, the tank was t tinted. So I did a water change. And then after that, the water's been crystal clear. So it was just a matter of leaching out excess amount of iron from the kitty litter. But that was no problem with such a small tank. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I potted them up. And uh, we're going to get into this little experiment. Now this is something that's going to take a while. This isn't something that's going to, you know, we're going to notice any big results within the next week. This is going to take time because we've got to find out. i got to test the water. See if the water now has a lot of nitrogen in it, no nitrogen. Uh, is it being contained, the dirt? Will the plant grow good? Will the other plant grow? Will they grow about the same? Because iron is a very important element in growing plants. So um, this is what I did. This is how I planted them up, and that's coming up next. Both plants are cryptochorine windenti. And I try to get them the same, but here's one of the pots, put gravel at the bottom, filled it with kitty litter. Then I saturated that kitty litter with flourish iron. That's why you see the discolor. Then after that, let it soak. You can see the iron in the bottom little, little container there. That's just for plants. And let it soak up. Took the plants out of their original pots to uh, plant them as much as bare root as I possibly could. Now both plants weren't exactly the same. Then I finished it off with putting kitty litter on top of that. And uh, as you can see the pot underneath her is full of iron. Then I put the stones on and I then started taking the iron and pouring it over the top and I kept doing that to let the kitty litter really soak up. This is just some aquarium gravel I had on hand 
it's uh, I've had it for quite a while. Uh, not that I would get gravel that's purple, but the it was available and it was free. The kitty litter I use is uh, this unscented, non-clumping, uh, Win Dixie here in Florida is where I bought it. This is made in USA. So you can see the gravel looks wet. That's because I've been taking the iron from the bottom tray that's uh, went out. And I keep pouring on top, put it to the next tray. And I did that a few times just to make sure. So I have two trays. And then when it, when it leaks out, I pour it back in, let it soak real good into the kitty litter. And uh, that's basically all I did. So it's gravel, kitty litter, gravel, and then I soaked it in iron. Of course, uh, with the other pot, I use this potting mix, miracle Grow potting mix. I didn't clean it. I didn't do anything with it. I just put the stones at the bottom, put the potting mix in, put the plant in, and then I put stones on top of that particular plant, just like I did the one with the kitty litter. Like I said, we are going to see which one of the two pots are going to cause a problem. Now they're both have the same amount of light using the Asta 120 light. The other plants that are in the aquarium there, I'm going to use for another project. That's why I bought four of them. But this is it. Two pots, clay pots. If you remember, I've used these clay pots before. I had them with the parrotfish. They used to hide inside of them. So uh, I decided to reuse them, but this time for this experiment, for these crip to see if one grows better. Now, this really isn't a contest to see if, oh, if I use a potting mix full of nutrients, am I going to come up with a bigger plant than the other one uh, is going to grow? The point I'm trying to find out is we have an aquarium that has no nitrates and phosphates is the potting mix going to mess up the tank? Are we all, all of a sudden going to see all kinds of problems? Or will it cause no problems at all? Or it may be that the potting mix will grow a better plant than the kitty litter. But let's find out. Uh, I know that when used, the kitty litter with the plenum and everything, it, plants grow very well. And as you see in the... Uh, uh, Goldfish Aquarium. I have a crypt in there. It's grown on its own. It's grown very nice. And that grew from just about nothing. And nothing but kitty litter and sand and but goldfish. So this really doesn't have a lot of ammonia in it, but it's just a little experiment. We'll find out which is better. Anyhow, just a short video to let you know an experiment that I'm doing. And uh, until next time, uh, this is Dr. Novak. Happy fish keeping.